exciting and interesting. It does really make me want to be a scientist. Fun, amazing, scientific. Today we're here with the Henry Royce Institute at the Blue Dot Festival where we're going to talk to families and the public about how fantastic material science is. So we've got demonstrations about metals, we're going to be smashing chocolate bars, we've even got atomic force microscope made of Lego, which is fantastic. We need to make science more accessible to the general public and it's quite challenging for anyone to explain very complicated concepts in a very easy way. And here we are explaining, for example, quantum technology in a very approachable way. This is our Roy stand and essentially what we're doing here is we're talking to the public all about metals and the different applications that they have so we can also assess the materials properties and how easy it is to deform. Here is a steel bar, I might need all my strength to do this. And look at that, we, have, we can deform our metals and assess the properties of them and this is very important when it comes to safety factors like including these metals on an aircraft or a rocket say for instance. Uh, here we have a demo about how we can turn electrical signals uh, into a light signal and then change it back into some sound. So this is how we can use communications over long distances. So here I have an iPad that's playing some music and then we're going to change that into a light signal. So if we look here, we can just about see there should be some flickering here. And then we're going to collect that signal using a solar cell. So if I take away this block, you can now start to hear the sound waves. But the sound waves are coming out in a diffuse way. So now we use a different material, a magnifying glass to bring those waves back in and make it louder. We find the right point. So this is how we can change the way in which we use communications over long distances. Here we have some nitinol wire. It's a very special alloy made of nickel and titanium. And with these two metals together, they have very special properties, which is referred to as a shape memory alloy. So you can see at the moment this is straight, or somewhat straight, and I'm going to bend it and deform it. And we're going to heat this up on our hot plate and the metal displays its shape memory properties so you can see it goes right back. As a teacher I can take the things I've learned today back into the classroom. We often talk about what has been discovered in the past and having that link to what's actually happening now feels really important. Like they've all been really different all of the experiments, they've all been able to try something, everything has been new but explained really nicely they've been able to really understand things and it's been quite nice because my son's gone off to explore it a bit himself and come back to tell me the things that he's now learned which is really lovely. 